Hi, welcome back. And today we are going to have a look at uh, the uh, vulnerabilities related to the FTP. Okay, the most popular one is actually called as uh, the anonymous login. Okay, so we are going to have a look at that. Oh, okay. Okay, so now we have the Metasploitable actually running here. Okay, and the IP address is uh, 192.168.56.102. Okay, let's get on to Kali. And we will do an, uh, so because it's related to the FTP, I want to do an NMAP uh, script scan. And we have what this 192.168.56.102. Port is 21. Okay, so for the FTP, the anonymous FTP login is actually allowed. Yeah, and other details are connected and logged in as FTP as well. Okay, so anonymous is also a login and FTP is actually a login again. Now, let's copy this IP to an FTP. So, 192.168.56.102. I would say anonymous and password is, let's say, test at the rate 123. Okay, so login is actually successful. Yeah, so I am in to and logged in as an uh, uh, logged into the target system using FTP. Just do an exit. Okay, so I'm back to my system. Now, um, this is one way of seeing the vulnerabilities related to the FTP on the target system. The other one is. When you do an uh, CD user share in map scripts, okay, have a lot of scripts, okay, for different different protocols. So FTP, we have an on bounds brute, okay. So VSFTP, backdoor FTP, TFTP enumeration, etc. And what we had just seen is the anonymous, okay. So when we do an nmap hyphen hyphen script, FTP anon dot NSE, okay, the port twenty one of the target system. Okay, it says FTP anonymous login allowed. This is something which is exe which was executed and inherited by uh, you know the uh, script scan of uh, you know the nmap and got displayed. That is one way of actually looking at the FTP anonymous login is allowed or not. The other one is through what is called as an MSF console. Metasploit. Now the Metasploit do a search on FTP. Okay, see. Now I would say all CLEARY scanners TP. So I have got uh, nine displayed here. Okay, so the one, the first one, okay, which is uh, the f uh, use the first, which is anonymous. Uh, show options obviously you need to set the, uh, the remote host i'll say set our host hosts so multiple targets are also 192 168.26.102 okay do a run okay so anonymous uh, scanned anonymous read yeah it's actually done okay so that means that uh, i'm able to log on to the target system as an anonymous uh, user okay now this is also another way of checking so uh, whether the anonymous is actually allowed on the ftp or not good so next we will see what is the application that is actually listening to the port 21 which is vftpd and uh, how to use the metas point uh, to actually create a backdoor for vsftpd okay thank you very much